guys. In the uh, never-ending battle against slugs, I'm going to try two experiments this year. Um, using different natural slug deterrents. I'm going to treat both beds the same with an initial watering of Nema slug. And I'm going to just feed the bed with some Q4. And then as I plant the plants, or after I planted the plants, I'm going to spray with uh, Caterpillar G3 just to make sure there are no um, you know, caterpillars on the plants, give it a fair chance. And then one bed, <coughs> I'm going to use um, Slugs Away wool mat. And in this bed, I'm going to use this stuff called, hang on, and I'll do the label when I get home, Stroach. Oh, I've got my blooming cable cord there, Stroach. And it is a straw, ground up, very fine straw, mixed with minerals, especially iron. And slugs don't like iron, they don't like the sharp straw, so they crawl away under somebody else's <laughs> brassicas. Right, so let's get you on the tripod and we'll make a start. They're just giving this bed a sprinkling of uh, Q4 powder. Uh, what's that, NPK 5.3, 7.510. Just a general purpose fertiliser really. But it's in powder form so it, uh, it, it mixes well. And the compost on there is just spent potato compost. I use that everywhere. So in with the bit of Nemo slug. The reason I'm watering with Nemo slug is just to kill anything that's actually in the compost already. I want to give it a fighting chance with these uh, new deterrents. So I'm um, giving the uh, giving the plugs of watering as well, the modules. It's pretty good stuff. It's uh, I, I like it for established plants. I don't like it for seedlings because it doesn't kill the slugs for up to three days. So they can still have a good munch on your seedlings, you know what I mean? I forgot to mention, I'm giving them a, a quick dose of slug killer anyway, just so they're all starting off on a level playing field really. Behind you. Oh, bloody hell! <laughs> Look at the size of that bugger! So, so do they get to a site, obviously... It's a, it's a special giant. marrow, yeah. And that's the seed from the one that was 25 kilos in 2017. Bloody so what, I'm not growing for showing this year, but I thought, but the seed's getting a bit old. So I've grown it just to get more seed. Someone's been growing stuff up here. Isn't it? 
Well there they are next up. Just a quick spray in now with Grazer's G3, Cabbage White Butterfly, Caterpillar and Aphid Deterrent. Just want to give them a fighting chance. Then on with the uh, next bed. Um, this is the bed that uh, myself and Layla tipped the spuds out in last week. <clears throat> so we've uh, basically topped it up with compost that is spent for potatoes, but um, it's going to be good for other things. So this includes putting a mat of slugs away over the top of the compost. I'll show you this in a second. After I've watered with Nemo slug and laid down some of these uh, organic slug killers pellets. So these are going to be under the wool mat. I'm going to feed the bed with oh, Q4 professional powder and when they're all planted up I'm going to spray them with caterpillar white butterfly caterpillar stuff killer grazers G3 just in case there's any left on the plants. So best thing to do is try and find somewhere to put the um, camera because I've totally messed up with the tripod. Right, catch you in a bit. Not a good day for filming this day. I totally messed up with the tripod and forgot the uh, the adapter to go on the bottom of the camera. And when I got the camera set up, balanced on a wheelbarrow, I forgot to press record for the first bit. <laughs> so anyway, what I've done, I've watered with Nemo Slug, put some slug pellets down, laid the wall mat down over the compost, and as you can just about see there, I'm checking all the leaves for butterfly eggs and caterpillars. Found a few, mind. And all I did to get the plants through the matting was to uh, cut across in the matting with my scissors, fold the corners back, fashion a hole with my fingers, uh, get the plug plant and check it again for caterpillars. Uh, push it in the hole, firming as you go, and then push the corners back over. Simples. And to keep the trial fair, I've used the same plants in both beds, which are uh, Broccoli Claret F1. Purple sprouting broccoli. <laughs> I just thought, don't they look cosy in the bed with a blanket? <laughs> oh dear. Well, there you are then, that's the uh, stroach bed. And that's the wool mat slugs away bed. So we'll see how to get on, eh? Well, I've gone to such great lengths to uh, try and prevent the slugs, I thought I'd better show you the products. This is the slugs away wool mat. Uh, what is it, 1.2? by 0.8, so 120 centimetres by 80 centimetres, which spookily is exactly the size of my uh, palette colours. So yeah, it, um, give it a go, eh? So here's the uh, dual action stroach, the straw mulch for organic gardening with slug and snail deterrent. Reduces weeds by 95%, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, not bad stuff. I'll tell you what it is. It is very finely chopped straw. Well, love them or hate them, this is what we're up against. Fascinating subject, slugs. I mean, <laughs> the long winter nights just fly by in my house, believe me. Yeah, some only eat uh, decaying vegetation, some eat living vegetation. Some stay underground all their life. 
slugs are hermaphrodites. That is, they are male and female at the same time. But they must find another slug to mate. Now that's got to be really confusing. Slug eggs can remain dormant for up to six years if the conditions for hatching aren't right. So even when you're uh, winning the battle above ground, they've still got reserves below. Now, if you have this slug in your garden, lucky you. This is a leopard slug and its main diet is other slugs. Well, there you go, guys. Every day in which you learn something is not a wasted day. Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll catch you soon.